up guys. Welcome to Root08. In today's video I'll show you how to set up and play Skyline emulator with best settings. Let's get started. First of all, for this tutorial you will need to have two things pre-installed on your Android device. First one is the game itself. So you'll need to have a Nintendo Switch games loaded onto your Android device if you want to play them on Skyline. Emulator. For example, here you can see I have loaded the Pokemon Let's Go NSC file format game file on my Android device. To do this you need to dump your Nintendo Switch game file from your Nintendo Switch which you own. You can search on how to do it on Google. But anyways, you'll also need another thing which is the keys which are required for emulating games on Skyline Emulator. These are Product Keys and Title Keys. So first of all, you need to load these two as well. You need to dump it from your own Nintendo Switch which you own legally. Anyways, I'll link this website in the description box below which will redirect you to the download link of Skyline Emulator. Now to play Skyline Emulator you need to install a specific build. So just go ahead and click on it and it will redirect you to the GitHub page of Skyline Emulator. Here you can see that I have given the link of FTX1 branch of Skyline Emulator get graphical output and style animator only if you use the FTX1 branch. So that is the main reason why I selected it. Now, to download Skyline Emulator on your Android devices, just go ahead and click on the Download Skyline Emulator tab. Afterwards it will redirect you to this page here. You just have to select the latest update which you see right here at the top. So just go ahead and click on it. And afterwards you just have to scroll down. And here you will have to download the APK which will be about 7 to 8 MB. So if you try clicking it then it will not work. So first of all, you'll need to click on the three lines which you see right. Then click on sign in. Afterwards you'll need to sign into your GitHub account. If you don't have a GitHub account, then just create an account. Now I already have my GitHub account, so I'll just go ahead and sign into it. Once you sign into your GitHub account, just go ahead and scroll down and click on APK. Now just go ahead and click on download again. Now, while it's being downloaded, you guys will ask which games are compatible with Skyline Emulator. So the following is the list of games which do work on Skyline Emulator commercial game that is. So here you can see some games. These games do work on Skyline Emulator, but this GIF file just boots stale intro and afterwards it doesn't work. But the demo of this GFII will go in game. There are many Nintendo Switch games of whom. You can directly download the demo version, not the paid version from the official Nintendo eShop. So be sure to search it on Google. Like this Gear 5 you can get the demo which actually works on Skyline Emulator. And there are many other games like Binding of Isaac, Rebirth 6 times, The Strategy Valley, some of them are playable. So be sure to check out the compatibility list to see which games work on Skyline Emulator. So once the APK is downloaded, it will be available in zip file. So to extract it or to install the Skyline Emulator, you need in File Manager. For example Zarkiver right here, for example, Zarkiver right here. So I'll just go and open it with Zarkiver. Before we install Skyline Emulator, make sure that you have uninstalled the previous versions of Skyline Emulator or else you will get app not installed issue. So uninstall the previous versions of Skyline Emulator, then only install the latest version of Skyline Emulator on Android. The official minimum requirements say that you'll need minimum Android 100 or above and also Snapdragon 855 processor. But let me tell you guys that Skyline Emulator also works on low-end processors or old processors. Like Snapdragon 660 or above and you will be able to play games like Sonic Mania. Now, let's get back to setting up Skyline Emulator. Once that has been done, we can now click on Open. Now here it will ask you to choose a folder in which you have stored your Nintendo Switch games. So as I mentioned before, you'll need to first of all load your Nintendo Switch games onto your Android device, the NSP game files that is. For example, here the Pokemon NSP file. You just have to select by clicking on Use this folder and allow it access. Now all of your Nintendo Switch rounds will be loaded. But here you can see that we won't be able to play games. So to fix it, you just have to click on settings. Now enable both of these options and we'll need to add production keys as well as title keys. So, 
Just go ahead and click on production keys and go to the folder where you have stored your production key and also title keys. Then select product keys. It will say successfully imported keys. Do the same with title keys. It will again say successfully imported keys. Now, once you have imported the keys, if you go back then you'll be able to see that your Nintendo Switch games will be successfully loaded on Skyline emulator. And now you'll get the option to play. But now let's unlock FPS unlock the maximum in Skyline emulator. So if you just go ahead and scroll down, enable the disabled frame throttling option, it will unlock the maximum FPS that you can get while emulating a Nintendo Switch game. Aspect ratio selected to device aspect ratio, it will give you better gameplay experience once. That has been done. Now we just have to go back and we are all set to playing the Skyline emulator on Android. For example, if you want to play Pokemon, just go ahead and click on it and then click on play. Now. It will take a few seconds, but here you can see that our game will successfully start your device specifications. So if you have a low-end device, you'll get less FPS. So just keep that in mind. Now if you try opening other game, they might, will crash. So, yeah, that's the issue. But don't worry guys, there are a few upcoming updates of Skyline Emulator in which all of these will work. So be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe turn on all notifications so you'll get notified when I make a video on Skyline and emulators new update with other games working This is the first Real free Nintendo switch emulator available for Android which is completely open source. So it's a great project Anyways, as you can see our game has successfully started So yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys found this video helpful if you did then be sure to hit that like button comment down below if you need any help. So guys that's all for today. Ciao, for today's video.